imagine having a safe playground where you can test your hacking skills without putting in risk your own computer. Well, this is the power of a virtual machine. In just a few minutes, I will tell you why every hacker needs to have a VM and I will tell you how to set one up step by step. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you will be able to step into the world of hacking. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what's a virtual machine? Well. A virtual machine is a program that acts like a separate computer within your main computer. So this is like having multiple computers all on the same physical machine, okay? Now, when becoming an hacker, you will benefit a lot from having a virtual machine. Because from starters, you can test exploits, malicious codes, and run potentially dangerous programs and malware without risking your main computer, your main system. Then, another benefit is that you can run more than one operating system on a single computer. Now, these are just a few benefits, but they are crucial for an ethical hacker, okay? Now, before we begin by installing our virtual machine, you need to know that there are a lot of uh, virtual machine options out there, but in this video we will talk and install uh, our virtual box. And this is because this VM is free and it's beginner friendly, which means that it's easy of use, okay? Now let's get to work and install our VM. Okay, so if you write on Google uh, virtual download virtual box uh, for in my case Ubuntu. Uh, you will have this web page with a lot of Linux distributions and versions. Now, if you are not sure what version you are running, you can go to your terminal and you can run the following command. Now, this command will tell you what's your Ubuntu version, okay? So you click enter and as you can see, mine is 22.04. So you go back to the to VirtualBox website and in my case, I will download this 2204, okay? And as you can see, it's now being downloaded. Let's see. Okay, it's completed. Now, you can go to your terminal. I will see if my uh, package was downloaded uh, to my downloads, like so. And as you can see, here we have uh, my package. And now we need to install uh, our VirtualBox with this uh, file, with this .deb file. And to do that, we can use the command sudo dpkg, as you can see, dash e, and the name of our uh, file. So let me just tell you that dpkg uh, will basically install, in this case, of course, .deb packages. Because as you can see, the package that we are installing is a dot deb okay package then the dash i stands for install so now we can run our commands okay okay as you can see we are having some errors so error uh, processing package virtual box dependency problems and this can be solved by so, uh, by running the command sudo apt get install dash f and let me tell you that the apt dash get uh, part of the command is a tool uh, to handle uh, packages then the install is to install packages then the dash f stands for fix broken so this option so the dash f option fixes broken dependencies uh, caused by the installation process okay guys so you click enter let's see yes let's wait a little bit okay now we can uh, verify our installation by uh, running the command virtualbox dash dash version and here we have guys now we have our uh, virtual box installed okay now that we have our virtual box installed we can now uh, proceed to install our 
operating system. However, when it comes to this, a lot of people ask, uh, which OS is best for ethical hackers? So what OS is best for hacking? Well, there are a lot of options. However, for most ethical hackers, uh, Kali Linux is the go-to uh, choice due to its uh, comprehensive toolset. But for those who prioritize lightweight performance, then Parrot Security OS is the go-to choice. Both these operating systems uh, have comprehensive toolset. However, Kali Linux is frequently updated and uh, to include the latest v uh, security tools and features, uh, while Parrot uh, Security OS is lightweight, which can be beneficial to for systems with lower resources, okay? Now, uh, it depends of what you have and what you need and what you like, because uh, there are a lot of people that already used uh, Kali Linux and this is awesome for them. But uh, if you can, you should try also the Parrot uh, Security OS and see what best, best suits your needs and your wants. Now, I will install Kali Linux, but uh, feel free to install the OS that you want but I think that uh, the installation of different OS's in the VirtualBox is similar. So let's get started with, in my case, Kali Linux on our new virtual machine. So the first thing that we need to do is to install our Kali Linux iOS uh, file. Now for those who don't know what is an iOS file, uh, an iOS file is like a package that has everything you need in order to use Kali Linux, okay? I hope I'm making sense and if you have any questions, please leave those questions in the commentary section down below. Now, uh, we can download our uh, Kali Linux file. Download Kali Linux. Uh, let me just tell you that uh, iOS uh, file, it's the same as image, okay? So if you click here, images, you can go here, then installer image, and you have here uh, some choices that you need to make, for instance, or you need to download uh, the 64-bit iOS file or the 32-bit iOS file. Now, if you are not sure which you uh, have to choose, you can go to your terminal, let me just split this. And you can use the following commands, uname-m, and this will print your system's architecture, okay? Let's see. As you can see, mine is bit64. However, if you add something like i686 or something like i386, this means that you should download the 32 uh, bits I iOS file, okay? I hope I'm making sense. So, let's do it. So, mine is 64 bits. Now, we click here to download. Now, uh, let me see if I have my uh, iOS file here and I have it. Now, before we proceed and install our Kali Linux on our virtual uh, box, uh, you always should see if the iOS file uh, has been tempered. Now, to see this, we can use the command shasum, like so, then dash a256, and then uh, the name of our uh, file. In my case, is Kali Linux, etc. Now you click enter and you uh, will receive this hash. Now, if you click here, where it says sum and you compare uh, this sum with the one that was printed on your terminal if there isn't uh, any difference then uh, it's okay you can proceed but if not if there's a different number or a letter then you should remove this because this is a sign that your ios file was tempered now as you can see mine it was not um, and let me just tell you that sometimes when you are downloading uh, your iOS file, uh, sometimes it can say that 
The file can contain a virus or malware, but sometimes this can be a false positive from your browser or antivirus software, okay? We can proceed with our installation. I will take this off, expand this and go to our virtual box. Now, to create a machine, you go to machine, click new. Now, you can call it Ali Linux. Now, you should select your iOS image. In my case, it's in downloads. And here we have it. Open. Okay. Now, you click next. Now, here you can leave it as it is uh, because this is a default but unless you have more to give you can always leave it like this now you click next okay create a virtual hard disk now you click next you click finish now we can power on our kali linux to do that we can double click here now where it says graphical installation you click enter now you choose the language that you want, I will choose English, then select your location, United States, and then uh, the configuration of uh, your keyboard. I will choose, let me see, okay, sorry, I will choose Portuguese because I'm Portuguese. Now you wait a little bit, I will take this off. Now you give the host name that you want to your Kali Linux, I will leave it like it is. I will use uh, the domain name uh, so Batista, like so. I will use so Batista once again. You use the one that you want, of course. You click continue. Now you choose a strong password. Now continue. Now you choose uh, the clock. I will click enter. You can use the entire disk, you click enter, uh, you can choose the first one, all files in one partition. Now finish per uh, partitioning and write changes to disk. You can click yes, continue. Now our base system is being installed guys, okay? You just need to wait a little bit. Now you can continue, here you can click continue. You click on this one and you click continue okay now you can click continue and let's see guys and here you have your kali linux guys so now if you enter your credentials in my case was this And let's see. And here we have our Kali Linux, guys. So now you can make your changes and you can begin your hacking journey. And that's it for this video, guys. Now you know how to set up VirtualBox uh, and uh, how to install Kali Linux. Um, and why it's essential for ethical hacking to have a virtual box. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. If you have any questions and suggestions, please leave those in the commentary section down below. See you next time, stay curious, stay safe and happy hacking! Bye bye!